Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video you will learn how to calculate the correct elevation of stations using the reciprocal leveling. You will also learn that what are the various types of error that occur in the long range sites and are eliminated by the reciprocal leveling. So the question is given and it states that the following notes refer to the staff readings taken on two staffs A and B taken with one level. You can see when the instrument is near station A, staff reading on A is 1.03 meter and staff reading on B is 1.63 meter. When the instrument is at station B, staff reading on A is 0.95 meter and staff reading on B is 1.54 meter. The distance between these two stations, that is distance AB is 800 meter and the reduced level of A is given as 450 meter. So you need to calculate the true reduced level of B, combined correction for curvature and refraction and also the error in collimation adjustment of the instrument. First, what is reciprocal leveling? Reciprocal leveling is the method of leveling that is used to determine the difference of level between two points at a considerable distance apart with great precision. Reciprocal leveling is used when it is not possible for us to set the instrument midway between two points so that we can balance the back side and the fore side to reduce the errors. In reciprocal leveling, the level is set up on both sides of the levels. Two set of staff readings are taken. This helps us in compensating the errors that are due to the curvature and refraction and also error due to the line of collimation that occur in surveying. Now coming back to our question, we can see that when the level is at A, staff reading on B is given as 1.63 meter and staff reading on A is given as 1.03 meter. If we find the apparent difference of levels, that is the difference between these two staff readings, we will get uh, apparent difference equal to 0.6 meter. When the level is at B, staff reading on B is 1.54 meter and staff reading on A is 0.95 meter. Again, if we find the apparent difference of levels, that is the difference between these two stations, we will find it to be 0.59 meter. We can clearly see that these two apparent differences are not equal. It means there is error in the line of collimation or you can say that the line of collimation is not horizontal and we need to calculate this error also. To find the correct reduced level of B, first we need to find the true difference of these stations. So true difference of level will be simply equal to the average of these two apparent differences. That is D will be equal to D1 plus D2 divided by 2. So the true difference of level will be 0 0.6 plus 0 0.59 divided by 2 which is equal to 0.595 meter. Also, if you see these readings, you can see that the staff reading at B in both the cases is greater than the staff reading at A. It means that station at B is at lower reduced level than station at A or you can say there is rise from B to A or fall from A to B. Since the reduced level of A is given equal to 450 meter, Reduced level of B will be simply equal to reduced level of A minus the true difference of levels. So it will be equal to 450 minus 0 0.595 which will be equal to 449.405 meter. This is the true reduced level of station B. Now the distance between these two stations is given equal to 800 meter which we can say equal to 0 0.8 kilometer which is greater than 200 meters and we know that when the distances between stations are greater than 200 meter there will be error due to the refraction and curvature so combined correction that due to curvature and refraction will be simply equal to minus 0 0.0673 L square where L is in kilometers. So it will be equal to minus 0 0.0673 into 0 0.8 square which will be equal to minus 0 0.0431 meter. This is the combined correction due to the curvature and refraction. Now the total error that occurs due to this uh, 
collimation error plus curvature and refraction it is simply given by half of dif apparent uh, differences it is simply given a dif uh, half of uh, d1 minus d2 so this is equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.59 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.005 meter this is the total error that is the error due to the collimation plus curvature and refraction now if you need to calculate the collimation error collimation error will be simply equal to total error minus the combined error due to curvature and refraction so it will be e minus 0 0.0673 l square which will be equal to 0 0.005 minus 0 0.0431 which is equal to minus 0 0.0381 meter you can see that this error is negative or you can say collimation error is negative it means when the collimation error is negative it means that line of sight is inclined downwards as you can see in the figure also so this is how we can calculate the combined uh, this is how we can calculate the correct reduced level of stations using the reciprocal leveling and also calculate the various types of errors that occur due to long range sites. I hope this solution video was clear and you learned something new from this video. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.